Yeah. Why are we waking up? Allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> the name is Dr. Robotnik. Not Miss. No, no, no. Doctor. Well, yes, don't touch me. <laughs> the pleasure is all yours. You're probably wondering what you're doing here, right? You're thinking, oh no, I got into another terrifying conundrum. Well, I'll let you know. You're here in my lab. Welcome. Not many folk get to see it. You're one of the special ones. By special, I mean stupid. <laughs> oh, I don't mind showing you. It's not like you'll ever leave to tell anyone about it. No. I've brought you here today. Well, you could say as a little bait, perhaps. I know that you know, that I know that you know where that blue little demon is. You know the one I'm talking about, right? Small, fluffy, irritating. <laughs> yes, yes, the hedgehog. That's all I want. I just more little, a little chat with the hedgehog. <sighs> you see, he and I, we have a little unfinished business. We fought. When I, I first met him, we fought. I graciously won, triumphantly defeated the little rodent. Then I, through no fault of my own, was banished. Oh, banished to a world of mushrooms. Have you ever eaten a mushroom? Oh, of course you have. Well, you know, take that mushroom, multiply it by ten billion, and that was my life. Hmm. Sometimes, when I'm just lying, minding my own business, ah, I can taste mushroom. <laughs> Fungus is not something I am particularly fond of anymore. No, 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 no. Anyway. I returned from the mushroom land. And we fought again. This time with a little yellow idiot and a red echidna. You don't know what an echidna is? I guessed it from the dazed look in your eye, which says, I am stupid. You don't need to know. It's basically a red moron with all of his brains in his fists. Well, you see, I discovered all by myself, nobody else helped me, a giant emerald that helped me fight and become one with an energy you cannot imagine. I was like a god. <laughs> I built the most incredible robot the world has ever seen. Or will ever see. 
Mm-hmm. I'm thinking of calling it the robotnoid Peyton Pending. Well, shut up. I see you heard about my ridiculous defeat. And I wouldn't even call it defeat. No. I would call it a misunderstanding. You see, they misunderstood that I had in fact won the battle. (laughs) He may have flicked me over like a bug. like a phoenix, and here I am to tell the tale, sane as I ever was. (laughs) Now you're probably wondering if you have the capacity to wonder, which I am not so sure yet. If you do, you're probably wondering, what do you have to do with all of this? Well, I'll tell you. I will tell you, my friend, you are here to lure the little blue idiot here. Don't pretend like you don't know him. I, I know that you know him. Yes. I know because you had, what do they call it? A selfie. That's the one. Oh, I, I've taken many selfies. People just flock to me. They just think I'm so perfect and they need photographic evidence of being in my presence. What can I do? So I saw that selfie with the little blue rodent. He ran off. He ran off. Oh, he ran off. That's what he does. I still believe you have a connection to him. And I believe that if he believes you're here with me, he will come running at that annoyingly fast pace that he does. (laughs) What's that? What are you rustling about down there? Let me... Let me just get that. Do not move. Just stay still. (laughs) Give it to me. Give me. (laughs) What is this? What is this supposed to be? You consider yourself? An artiste, perhaps? I'll tell you right now. Stay in school. What is this supposed to be? (laughs) This? The little fluffy plane flying. And this? See? Even more evidence that you are in cahoots with the hedgehog. This part at the bottom. Who is this supposed to be? Who is this supposed to be? Is this selected person all supposed to be one? The body shape. Repulsed, if you will. This is not an accurate representation of anything. 
You think you're documenting evidence of the last battle I had with the hedgehog? No, no, no. Rubbish. You're a fool. <laughs> Foolish. <laughs> I'll tell you why. You're a fool. Let me tell you a story. After I was defeated by the hedgehog and his little primary color friends, I emerged, as I said, from the ashes like a phoenix, blah, blah, blah. My good little assistant, funky, roadie, a fellow that I know by the name of Stone, <laughs> he picked me up and, no, not physically, he's like a weed of a man, he assisted me as assistants should. He got me a latte, first of all, which was, uh, the man knows how to make a coffee. Anyway, that's beyond the point. <laughs> he and I returned to my laboratory, which you can see right here, right now, behind me. <laughs> no fee. Welcome. And I then got to work on my plot of revenge. Yes, well, I told you, I hate the hedgehog, he hates me, blah blah blah, I'm gonna kill him, perhaps get him stuffed and put him on my mantle. But to get him here, I needed bait. Not just you. No. You see, when he was out of town, <laughs> with his human parents, as he likes to call them, <laughs> no. Foolish idiot. They're probably just fattening him up to eat. Not a bad idea, actually. As that was happening, I made a little trouble in that little hellhole that they like to call home. Green Hill. It sounds sickeningly pleasant, doesn't it? The brochure did not mention giant robot rubble everywhere, but I'm sure people can get around that. Give them a, a free coupon to the ice cream parlor or something. Great flavored ice cream they have there. Can you think of anything more disgusting? Where was I? Ah, yes, I caused a little trouble in that little sweet village of theirs. And who came running? Or rather, flying <laughs> in that little red plane. <laughs> the little fox with too many tails. Oh, you think he defeated me again all by himself? He may be smart, but he's just a child. And I can handle a child or two. Perhaps not three. But... So yes, I have the first part of my bait here. I had to tranquilize the little creature, of course. He got mouthy. <laughs> he just wouldn't shut up. He actually, he wanted a tour of my laboratory. Can you imagine giving a tour to that? Hair, fur, everywhere. How do I know that he's still unconscious? How do I know? Have I locked him up in a cell? Perhaps a dungeon? No, I'm not. I'm not cruel. He's right here. 
Look at his little cheeks. Oh, he's so cute. His little chubby little cheeks. So he's been here the whole time. He's out for the count. No, I won't wake him. If I do, all he talks about is that hedgehog and how he's coming to save him. <laughs> Stupid. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you that and dash your hopes. <laughs> of that one coming to save you. Yeah. <laughs> now. You, my friend, are going to help me procure that little hedgehog. How? How, you might ask? Well, it's more of a, a me threatening you type thing. So we'll put it this way. If you don't help me, <laughs> the fox goes in a box. <laughs> that rhymed. <laughs> and the box <laughs> goes in the ground. I don't care how fast the little hedgehog can run. That fox will suffocate before he gets back. <laughs> I know. I'm a genius. You don't need to tell me. <laughs> I am. Yes, I am. You know what else is genius? Of course you do. Hops through. <laughs> yes, well, I was fascinated by that technology, and I decided why not create it myself? After all, Dr. Robotnik can create anything when she puts her mind to it. I can best any technology. And so, through hard work, and concentration, and around 400 lattes, I created my own little rings. Perhaps not as aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> They're not going to be mistaken for a wedding band anytime soon. But they do the job. Anywhere I want to go, these little babies will take me. <laughs> oh yes. Marvelous, aren't I? <laughs> I am indeed fabulous in every way. So when the hedgehog finds out, not only do I have his little fox friend, I also have you and my own little gateway to wherever I want. He will come running. <laughs> and when he comes running, I'll just zoop, skip through one of my little ring portals bring back an army of aliens, maybe? I don't know. Whoever I want. <laughs> I'm very convincing. And they will come and do the dirty work for me. You see, I learn from my mistakes. I don't really make mistakes. So I won't be doing any of the, the flattening or the squashing crunching myself, I'll get someone else to do it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what a mastermind does. 
Are you convinced yet? Do I need to pull on your heartstrings anymore? No? Good. I knew I could count on you. Whatever your name is. <laughs> oh. You know what? I even have something to improve your little piece of artwork here. Yes, I am going to show you <laughs> something even better than simply catching and destroying the hedgehog. You see, <laughs> no one else but me and you are going to know that the hedgehog has been caught and destroyed because I am going to replace said hedgehog in my very own creation. No one will know that it's not him and I will have the fastest creature on earth under It's taken a lot of genetic engineering and robotics, which happen to be my speciality. But I have created my very own blue blur. So once Sonic is gone, my little friend there will be taking over his life responsibilities chores <laughs> and no one will even know genius right <laughs> you flatter me <laughs> oh knuckles well yeah i mean if he jumps into the equation it does make it a little more difficult but that thing is all brawn and no brains. I'll simply drown him or drop him off a cliff, you know, something fun. Maybe I'll even just lie to him again. Tell him I found his tribe or that I know where to find his family. That they're still alive. They're not, of course, but you know. <laughs> so once all three of them are out of the pic- What? What? The fox. The echidna. The hedgehog. What do you mean there's more? How could there possibly be more? I- every calculation into my massive brain and everything worked out and everything always works out i'm never wrong never something something else has been spotted <laughs> you're wrong <laughs> you are wrong something Were you perhaps at Disneyland? Were you mistake? <laughs> Another hedgehog? <laughs> Not to worry. I can factor that into my equation and destroy the pink hedgehog just as well. Everything will be fine and dandy. <laughs> I need to go now. You need to shut up. You want a latte? I'll get I'll get Stone to make you a latte, okay? He's very good at it. <laughs> yeah. You just wait here.
Later, hater.